Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm gonna test how well seventh generation toilet bowl cleaner disinfects my toilet. I was super impressed with the seventh generation wipes disinfecting power from last week's video that I decided I really wanted to give the seventh generation toilet bowl cleaner a try. But there's a huge difference between the toilet bowl cleaner and the disinfecting wipes. The major difference is that on the wipes, they claim to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. They do claim that these wipes are disinfectant and check out my video, I'll link it below to see how they did. But the toilet bowl cleaner does not have that claim on here. It is just a cleaner. So I wanna make that distinction very clear that oftentimes when I'm testing toilet bowl cleaners such as Clorox, the one with bleach, the Lysol one with hydrogen peroxide, they'll have on the label kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria or they'll have on the label directions to disinfect and sanitize. Seventh generation doesn't claim that, but I'm gonna test it anyway just because I'm curious to see how well it will clean. I'm gonna test this toilet bowl cleaner just like I do all of my other bacteria testing. I'm gonna get myself a Petri dish and I'm gonna label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna swab the toilet bowl using a sterile swab. I'm gonna place that sample in the section B for before. Then I'm going to clean with the seventh generation cleaner. So here's the deal. They just say squirt under the bowl rim, brush the bowl, then flush. Nice. I'm gonna give it a five minute wait time just because that seems to be pretty standard among other toilet bowl cleaners and since I'm gonna be testing it against my other cleaners, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squirt it around the rim, let it sit for five minutes, brush, flush, resample it, and put that sample on the Petri dish section A for after. C is gonna be our control, nothing goes there. So let's see how well seventh generation toilet bowl cleaner disinfects my toilet even though they don't claim to be a disinfectant at all. Now for the results. Okay, so we can see in the section labeled B for before, there's a lot of bacteria, right? A big smearing of bacteria from our toilet bowl, which is to be expected. In our after section, we can see a clear decrease in bacteria. It doesn't get rid of a ton of bacteria, but there most certainly is a decrease. Now remember the seventh generation does not claim to be a disinfectant at all, just a cleaner. So I would say as a cleaner, and as a product that doesn't claim to remove any bacteria or kill any bacteria, I think it actually does a pretty decent job at removing some bacteria. If you enjoy seeing these Petri dish results, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and click the thumbs up. When I compare these results with my other toilet bowl cleaner results, I actually think it does kind of middle of the road. It doesn't uh, disinfect as well as the Clorox gel bleach, but it does better than Pine Sol and some other cleaners that I've used. So it's very interesting to see that the seventh generation toilet bowl cleaner, which doesn't claim to kill any bacteria, actually does kill bacteria and does so almost as well as some of the other cleaners that I've tested.
I really enjoyed testing the seventh generation toilet bowl cleaner. Um, sometimes it's good to use a cleaner that isn't full of bleach in my toilet bowl because I do have a septic system. So I feel comfortable using this in my toilet uh, more frequently than I do a product that does have bleach in it. If there's a cleaner that you would like me to test out, put it in the comment section. I do have quite a backlog of your requests, but I will do my best to get to each and every one of them. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.